Greetings, statistics class. This is from chapter number seven, and I am going to work out problem number five to 7.2, homework problem 14 uh, from our book. So we are asked about a sleeping bag here. So it says, how much does a sleeping bag cost? Let's say you want to buy a sleeping bag and uh, random samples at stores for sleeping bags, bags in a particular temperature range are given below. So these uh, 20 samples were found. Assume the population of X value has approximately normal distribution. Okay, and so then we're for part A, we're supposed to use a calculator with a mean and sample standard deviation keys to find the sample mean price and the standard deviation and round your answer to two decimal places. And then in part B, we're supposed to give the 90% confidence interval uh, for uh, uh, all summer sleeping bags and round to two decimal places. So there are a couple of things that I want to point out here. We're told that something is approximately normal, and we are not given, not given, the standard deviation for the entire population. So we don't know what sigma is. So we don't have the entire population standard deviation. All we have is the information from the samples that we have. So we are going to use the student's T distribution. This is sometimes referred to as the T distribution or occasionally called the Gossett distribution after the uh, person who developed this distribution. So the conditions for the Gossett distribution is that the samples be collected randomly, which we are told that they are. And then um, we're also told or we have to have the situation that you have not necessarily a normal distribution. A normal distribution counts, but it's roughly bell-shaped, um, so mound-type shape. And this says it's approximately normal, so that certainly would qualify. And then we also have to make some assumption that uh, each sample is independent from one another. In other words, one sample doesn't directly affect a different sample. So at some level, that's what we're going to assume here with the sleeping bag prices. And uh, we're told it's normal. And the reason we're not going to use the Z distribution is because we don't have the standard deviation of the entire population. And in practice, that's the case most of the time. We rarely know what the standard deviation is for the entire population because we don't have access to the entire population. We only have access to the sample. So let me show you how I did this on my calculator. Here we're not given the, um, the summary of the data collected. We're given the actual data. So what I did is in my TI-84, I did um, statistics and then edit and then list one, put all of those data points, all 20 of those data points in list one. So now the data points are there. Then I go to uh, statistics and I go over to test and I want the T interval. I need the T interval. And in this case, I'm going to go to data because that's where I've stored my information is in list one. If I had the results or I had the summary statistics, I would put those information here. But I don't. I have the data. So I put the data and I put it in list one. And then I have a frequency of one or 100% because I want to use each value perfectly 100%. So frequency is one. And then the confidence level in this particular problem is 90. So we're being asked for 90. So let me double check that to make sure I have that right. 90% confidence interval. And uh, then I go down and I press calculate. And I am told that it is the lower is 67.49 and the upper is 88.8. 806, if you round the two decimal places, be 88.81. That's my confidence interval. And then X bar is equal to 78.15. And my sample standard deviation, 27.56 to two decimal places. So then I go back to my problem here, and my X bar was 78.15 
to two decimal places. And my standard deviation of the sample was 27.56. And my lower limit was uh, 67. And my upper limit is 88.81. Okay, I'm going to hit submit answer and hopefully I've got all those correct. So once again, the key to using the student's T here is that I am not given the uh, standard deviation for the entire population and I can make an assumption that the population uh, approximately bell-shaped. Um, and normal distribution is certainly approximately bell-shaped or mound-shaped and uh, that the samples were obtained randomly. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.